What is happening in Oakland between Raiders owner Mark Davis and the city in an attempt to keep Davis's Raiders in town? Apparently not much. There was a story that Oakland city officials thought there was some movement in getting a stadium built for Davis's business, except Davis doesn't seem too interested in remaining in Oakland with Las Vegas and the largest public handout ever proposed for a stadium calling Davis's name. But if Davis wanted to play ball with Oakland officials, there could be a stadium plan developed. For Oakland to retain the Davis business, a number of unlikely things need to happen. Davis has to have a falling out with Las Vegas casino owner, and stadium proponent Sheldon Adelson or the NFL blocks the move. But the NFL doesn't block moves since Al Davis sued the league in the early 1980s when the NFL blocked his move from Oakland to Los Angeles and the league lost, allowing Davis to go to Los Angeles. Then there is the San Diego factor. The Spanos family failed to get approval for a private, publicly funded San Diego stadium and could move to the Los Angeles market and share a stadium with Los Angeles Rams owner Stan Kroenke and Englewood starting in 2019. If the Spanos family declines the Kroenke NFL offer in January, then Davis could consider Englewood, which is ironic in that Al Davis planned to build a stadium there in 1995 and ran into NFL roadblocks and decided to return to Oakland. But Davis would be a tenant in the Englewood building and not control revenues. There seems to be a stadium outline for football in Oakland, but a lot of things have to happen for Davis to consider the plan. The Las Vegas stadium fails. The NFL blocks a move. The Spanos family takes the Chargers to L.A., leaving Davis with just one option, Oakland. I'm Evan Weiner for the politics of sports business.